Hello, Chimicum Junior Senior High School teachers. Uh, Al here. I wanted to come in and, and present to you live, but with our different schedules, uh, it, it just seemed easier to do it this way. So here's what's happening. Uh, we've got an opportunity again to do a, a thing we've done for all the years I've been here and more pre-COVID, and that is take our sixth graders on an overnight outdoor education trip and that means we get to take high school kids as their camp counselors again. We haven't done that since COVID. Um, and, and I mean, we're a little bit out of practice. So this year, sixth graders get to go to a camp in Bainbridge Island called Islandwood. It's different than CISPIS, which is the traditional outdoor education trip we do with sixth graders. But Islandwood also allows uh, high school kids to come to be with the sixth graders and, and guide them and help them through it. We're offering it only to juniors and seniors. But even if you don't teach juniors and seniors, uh, they might ask you to do something for them. So let me show you what's gonna happen. First of all, if you teach juniors and seniors, uh, they and we select them, we're only gonna pick four boys and four girls, they will be gone the week right after spring break. So be prepared. Uh, that's going to be Monday, April 10th, right after spring break, to Thursday, April 13th. We come back that Thursday, and they might be able to check in with you, uh, and Friday they'll be in school. So here, here's what's expected of a kid who's going to leave for four days. If you could give them some kind of work to do, they will have time there in the evenings, because you know they're booked all day with their kids, uh, to do some homework. That way when they come back, they're not completely lost and behind. So if you could uh, just prepare some work for them, that would be awesome. And then we will tell them while they're there, hey, do homework before you go to sleep tonight so they can do a little bit of catch up, okay? So that's if you teach juniors and seniors, all right? Now, if you don't teach juniors and seniors, no matter which grade level you teach, they have to get three recommendation forms. They can pick any teacher in the entire district, but especially in the junior, senior high. We hope they pick you because they've worked with you. See, some of these kids, we haven't seen them since sixth grade, and we want to know, hey, how are they doing now? So please fill out this form as soon as you can and return it to the high school office. Don't give it to the kid. That way you can be brutally honest. So this form, you know, hopefully the kid will put their name there, but if they don't, please put it for them. Cause yeah, we've had juniors and seniors forget to put their own name. Um, you know, they expect the teacher to fill it out. And then you're rating them one out of four with four being the highest on these skills. Just your opinion based on the experience you've had with them. And if you have any comments, let us know. Um, and then we will put these together because we'll have the hard job of selecting the final four boys and the final four girls. So that's, that's it. That's coming up. If you have any questions, email me. I'm Al Gonzalez. You can email Gretchen Berg or Tom Barbudo. We're the sixth grade teachers this year. All right, thank you, and we're so happy to be able to provide this for our kids because this will give them 32 community service hours.